welcome back to Rebecca's uh, Travels. If you're new, uh, new here to my channel, hi, my name is uh, Rebecca and um, I hope you're having as good day and as night as uh, possible or have had a good uh, day as possible. Um, uh, today um, I'm going to be doing a video on Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts September 2001 Part 5 and if you're new to uh, my channel please subscribe it's the red and white subscription button it is free and also click the notification bell um, I really appreciate it because I just love talking about tra both travel and lifestyle. Um, the weather uh, today has uh, generally been, uh, well, kind of cool but uh, sunny. Not too cold though, but uh, cooler than, uh, say, last week. Um, but um, at least it wasn't raining like yesterday. Um, so um, I've been able to get up town and um, d d do things uh, today that um, um, it would be a lot harder for me to do. Also um, in Colville um, there was a pop-up art gallery, charity art gallery um, that I've visited but um, hopefully um, we'll be able to get um, a um, art gallery in um, my town um, but um, it was only there for this week um, at the art gallery where I went in and it was very nice and the people were very nice in there um, as well And um, it was also, they were collecting mo money also for um, a um, mental health um, awareness um, a charity as well. So um, again, so, uh, good thumbs up to those. And again, I think that is um, again uh, what uh, Colville needs and um, also they've started work on uh, the precinct um, which is the shopping centre that I showed you a footage video about um, a couple of months ago in my town um, so the, uh, they're doing more planting and more greenery um, and taking down uh, some of the shops um, which is unfortunate but on the plus side there's more plants um, and uh, like seating going to be in um, the town centre which is again a plus point that they're spending money on it um, so today Travel News UK 5 exciting facts September 2021 part 5 so I'm going to jump in with the first fact which is um, independent.co.uk South Africa looks set um, to leave the red list yes uh, but it uh, must wait um, 10 more days so fingers crossed it uh, does leave the red list and uh, also um, number two BBC News uh, uh, travel update um, when do the, cre uh, the green amber and red list uh, change um, the traffic light system um, of countries is changing The red list countries considered high risk will remain uh, with arrivals still needed to uh, pay for quarantine hotel um, so that will stay as usual um, um, which is uh, really good um, I know that it's not very good that people from a red list country have to pay but um, it is 
in regards to the situation you're not only protecting yourself but also uh, protecting the rest of the population and the people that you would come in contact with now at uh, number three bbc news um covid what's the, the winter plan and what are the rules across the uk now the government have set out plans to tackle tackle covid in england this winter plan a um, under the government's covid19 response autumn and winter plan covid booster jab are being offered to about 30 million people including the over 50s younger adults with health conditions and frontline health and social care workers um which is again really good um a health also healthy to 12 to 15 year olds are being offered the single dose and unvaccinated uh, people are being encouraged to get jabbed and plan A also includes um, a continuation of the NHS test and trace and free PCR test also encouraging free flu vaccine take up also um, reminding people to let fresh air in uh, when meeting indoors and wear face masks in crowded places so that will also come in um, they may make it mandatory for face coverings um, in crowded places um, again what is England's plan B if plan A isn't sufficient to prevent the unsustainable pressure on the NHS and the government can use the plan B which um, it including compulsory face coverings in some settings asking people to work from home instead of traveling to work also introducing vaccination passports and um, plan b um, could be brought in at short notice uh, concerning data the government scientific advisor says it's important to uh, monitor the number of hospitalizations the rapid rates of changing figures and the overall um, state of the NHS also plans um, are being set out in Northern Ireland Scotland and Wales as well which is really good news um, number four um, has the petrol shortage improved BBC news again dot com the petrol retail association which is pra which uh, represent nearly 5200 of uk's 8000 filling sta uh, petrol stations has said there are early signs the pressure is starting to improve it ease yes that uh, that is uh, really good news um, so there is early signs of the pressure reducing and um, starting to ease at the pumps it says that 37% of four cats uh, owned by its members uh, were of petrol on Tuesday uh, compared with two thirds um on sunday so that's the latest figures 37 percent instead of two thirds so there has been so, um a bit of a change but hopefully there'll be more change in the future 
um, as soon as possible. Um, number five, is there a limit on how much petrol I can buy? Um, some petrol stations have introduced a £30 cap on the amount of petrol people can buy. Um, oil companies uh, stress uh, that there's plenty of fuel available. Petrol prices are at an eight year high, um, 135.19p a litre on Monday up from 134.86 a week earlier according to BBC News. Um, so that's not uh, again so good but hopefully the petrol crisis um, will ease and get better, uh, fingers crossed. Um, I hope it does and I personally would only advise if you are driving make sure you only drive to essential places like say work or say hospital or so, uh, something um, and um, again only get petrol if you really need it if you've got plenty of petrol to get to uh, say your destination and back then um, consider uh, le uh, leaving it um, until the petrol uh, crisis is e eased or leave it as long as possible um, so um, I hope the situation eases and um, next um, I'm going to be doing an improvements, updates and more video which is Sunday. I'm going to be working um, the rest of the week um, because I've got um, a lot of um, shifts where I work at Morrison's. So I hope everybody's had a nice day and tonight and see you soon back on Sunday and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.